Good morning everybody. Today is Saturday, September the 28th. We're going to run down to the deer stand and, or the deer plot I should say, and fix that feeder. I don't know if you saw in the last video that I did talking about how the battery box falls off and in the last video that I did when I was putting it up, the battery box fell off. I've got to take the soldering iron, go down there, solder some wires onto that motor, get all that going. I'm going to run down, let the dogs out first. So if you guys want, why don't you go ahead and uh, you know where the deer stand is. It's down there. Go ahead. I'll meet you down there. had to chase the drone huh I guess it's good exercise for you this is what we've got to get fixed today I'm not sure if you guys can see I'm gonna tin this connector a little bit gotta be a little careful with this because these wires that go into the motor itself are very thin and then also this is held with plastic so just enough to Make it to where it's not a cold solder joint. I went ahead and just brought some new wire down. Actually, let's fire this thing back up. What I need to do, this uses an old lantern style battery that has the springs on it, but those are hard to find in a rechargeable. I am basically just soldering wires on to the connection points of that. And then I have this little Duracell, um, it's a six volt, five amp hour AGM battery. So these last a whole lot better than those lead acid batteries do. So here is the motor wire and I've got these terminals like opposite of each other. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, I have a Mel on the negative and a female on the positive. So I need to put a male on the positive and a female on the negative, and that's what comes from the controller itself. So. All right, so that should be good. All right, so that's all good. So let's just test this thing. I brought the meter. So we're gonna hook this up to the positive. We're gonna hook this up to the negative. So right now we don't have any voltage so if I hit test and test that's usually what causes it to go and 6.33 volts I'm not sure if you can see that I want that solar sensor facing the Sun so pop that up just like that that's the battery terminals this is the motor so I don't know if you guys can hear that wind. It sure does feel nice. Let's see, will it fit that way? Yes, it will. And negative to negative. And positive to positive. Then let's give it a quick test just to see, test. Nice. All right, let's run down to the plot itself. We'll grab the SD card and we'll take a look at how the plot's coming in as well. Here's the little Wadusa. 
change the SD card out. Always turn it off, wait a couple seconds, and then just pop this SD card. Put the new one in, turn it on, close it up. You can see I got a red flash of light. So this thing's ready to go. Let's take this back, throw it in the computer, and see what kind of deer pics we got. I'm gonna go get him some water. Hey guys, that does it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. So, till next time.